Ibai and welcome to this channel where we will give now a update on waiting they happen for Biafran territory as Prime Minister the drops of the Tosi Bakasi. Biafran Navy has decimated the terrorist base, neutralized many terrorists. I will make now listen to Prime Minister as they give now more updates. Right, uh, am I coming out clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, right, yes, good, evening. good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, uh, Bia France in Israel, the liaison office of the Biafra Republic government in exile in Israel, representative and executives of the Biafra Republic government in exile in Israel, the uh, members of uh, the Biafra government and the liaison office in Israel, and then also the uh, executive and the cabinet of the Biafra Republic government in exile that are here today and of course other Biafrans that are watching from every part of the world, including on social media, just uh, 34 minutes into this program, there are over 1,800 watching already, just 34 minutes of the program on our platform alone. I welcome every one of you. If you're listening to the national anthem of Biafra, you will listen and hear when they said we must defend our land or we perish. There is no other fact than that. Mm. That is what the national anthem of the Biafra said. We must defend our land or we perish. I've seen those who refuse to defend their land perishing and being annihilated within the uh, Nigeria setup. And of course, Biafra remain the only uh, nation that have risen up, taken it upon themselves, pick up arms to defend uh, themselves, our women and children against the invasion of the Islamic State, against the terrorist state, against a country that has been sponsoring terrorism and of course so anybody listening to biafra national anthem and you are yet to support and confirm being patriotism to the wording of that national anthem it means you are deceiving yourself because it says we must defend our land or we perish and today if you are not part of this government that is now defending our land so we will not perish you are lying and deceiving yourself and um, i don't need to go into long stories uh, every one of you know that whatever we do is on social media because we are living in a global village and because the struggle and the liberation of biafra is not a secret society it is not something that is secret everything we are doing is open because we are aspiring and fighting to restore a nation we are not fighting to become a group or become political pressure group or anything secret society because what we are fighting for is to become a nation to have our independent country and in regards to that in respect to that you must do everything open because the world is watching. So our doing is to make sure that the world come to term and understanding that Nigeria has failed. And of course, those who have vested interest in the West Africa, in Sahel region, Nigeria, and other, other part of West Africa should understand that for their business interests to be secured, there must be there is a need for Biafra to emerge. Without Biafra, there will never be any business that will be secured. There will never be peace in the entire Sahel region. So good evening, uh, uh, Biafra. Uh, welcome, our Prime Minister. Good evening, our Prime Minister. Maze Simon Njaku. Welcome to Israel, the Holy Land of Israel, the State of Israel. It is our great pleasure to welcome you and your entourage 
all the cabinet members and all honorable ministers right, of the Biafra Republic Government in Mexico worldwide, we are saying to you all, welcome, Baruch Abba, no, may Hashem bless you and bless all of us. Welcome also to all the Biafrans that are present all over the whole world. The mem uh, family members of uh, the Biafra government in exile, Israel, and also um, all the families uh, in Biafra land, uh, the Biafra Republic government uh, uh, homeland, Biafra the part of government in homeland. We welcome you all, and we in Israel we are saying shalom, shalom. Shalom. We welcome you. Um, our heart uh, is full of uh, joy. But, uh, it's a very good opportunity for us to uh, be with the Prime Minister. This meeting is being recorded. And we are very, very happy. All the, the members of the cabinet, the ministers, all the um, Principal officers of uh, the Biafra government in exile worldwide, we are saying to you all, Shalom. Welcome, Baruch Abba, to Israel. Shalom, the Shalom. Israel, the state of Israel. Shalom, Shalom. We welcome you. We welcome you all. Shalom. Um, yeah. There are two things um, we would like us to have in mind. First of all, is that uh, there is no coincidence in the things that are happening in our lives. In the words of Hashem, there is no coincidence. As the Chippo Kyabema Promission in there have arranged everything in its own way. All we do is to pay attention and then watch how he rules his world. Like our leader used to tell us, Martin Nambicano, pay attention, pay attention always then uh, you will feel the grace of Chuku Okikadama. When you come closer to him, you know him. So everything that is happening in his world is not a coincidence at all. He has already arranged them, and they're happening exactly the way he has arranged them to happen. If you see what is happening in the world today, you will find out that uh, it's not a coincidence. The second thing we have to bear in mind also is that uh, our leader, Mazin Nankano, has always told us one thing that uh, is always on our mind. Maybe of course we are not paying attention. There is nothing that uh, we can say here that I not said before. But it's always uh, good to remind us so that we fresh our mind. Our leader has always said that uh, If you can convince us with a compelling evidence and truth, we we'll follow you. This is what he has always said. And then to this end, um, Mazi Samoneba has convinced us with compelling reasons, compelling evidence and truth. And today, we are following him. And our leader was uh, the first person to follow Simon Eba because uh, he convinced him with compelling evidence and the truth. That's why he, he believed in him. And then that's how it goes. So uh, I will start a little brief uh, description of uh, Biafra relationship with Israel. Um, so many people have been um, misinformed and uh, believe in a lot of fallacies about the uh, Biafra Israel relationship. In fact, uh, there was a time our leader used to, uh, he wants to educate us a little bit about our heritage. Because if you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going to. This is basic of life. This is basic, basic of life. It's very basic in life. You must know your heritage. 
That's what we are defending because uh, we have identity identity crisis. We don't have identity. They denied us identity, so we are fighting for identity. Why we are the, we are fighting for our freedom is also fighting for our identity. And who are we? We are Hebrew Israelites, basically. And then most of my most of my friends here they understand it, and they give us that respect. They always uh, call me a uh, Biafran Jew because uh, I have already um, done all the processes to become officially a Jew in Israel. So if you go to the um, Betadin in Israel, that is the Jewish um, uh, court, you will see my name there. If you go to um, Labanut, uh, Benebrak, you will see my name there officially as a Jew. So officially here in my community, they know me as a different Jew. Although uh, there were some people who were some time ago, they wanted me to uh, come and join them as uh, Igbo Jews. I refused. And I told them that uh, who, yeah, who Igbo Jew of which country? So if you want to be Igbo Jew, you have to get the basis first. The basis is Biafra. So that's by the way. Uh, this is Eretz Israel. This is Israel. Israel is Biafra and Biafra is Israel. There was a time our leader was uh, at the University of Tel Aviv. He was giving the lecture. I was there. And then he was uh, giving the reasons why um, uh, Israel should be part of uh, this struggle. Why Israel don't have uh, have will be the first to uh, support our liberation, our the resolution of uh, Biafra. So in in those um, that lecture, the fear have always been that uh, if if uh, we recognize these people, maybe they will start looking to Israel, and then uh, Israel is Katan, so that Israel is small. Then our leader who used to is telling them that uh, it is you who will come to Biafra, not we coming to you, it is the other way around. And they were like, what are you saying? So he started to, uh, you know, give them reasons and then started to tell them how uh, Biafra is part of Israel. Like the the pyramid in Giza, he, he also showed that uh, those pyramids they are found also in Biafra land. And that is not a coincidence. Also, uh, yesterday there was what we did in the in the synagogue after the evening prayers. It was called the uh, Brekata uh, Lebanon. That is uh, the blessing of the moon. So every time there's blessing of the moon, there's something that comes to my mind. The Eguanwa, Eguanwa, because only uh, one. And we little really idea that no one behind a boy born in a village. When the, the moon comes out, we celebrate the moon. So we celebrate the moon here also in Israel. The Jews here we celebrate the moon. So I used to tell my friend that uh, this Bikata Lebanon, the blessing of the moon, that we used to do it also in Biafra land. That uh, is the same thing. So most of my colleagues they uh, always ask me, what is it that you are doing in Biafra land? That uh, make that we the Jews that we also do that makes makes uh, the heritage uh, the same. We share the same heritage. So I tell them there are many many things I don't even know where to stand to start because uh, the most important thing is that uh, the circumcision, which is uh, normal, but there are other things that uh, people don't really know about. For example. When you wake up in the morning, we say what is called the modern. Modern is to, to thank President Chukwu Gyadrama for giving you life, new life in the morning. Because when you sleep in the, in the night, you don't know where you are. So when you wake up in the morning, you thank President Chukwu Gyadrama for giving you life. Then your mother will always tell you, go and wash your face, go and wash your hand, go and wash your face. 
That is exactly what we do here. Immediately you wake up, it's also in the Jewish law. Immediately you wake up in the morning, you have to go and wash your hands. You know, so it's amazing when I started to explain to them a lot of things that we do that uh, show that uh, we share the same heritage. Uh, they couldn't uh, believe it, but most of them have already uh, started to ask questions. When are we going to Biafra? We want to go to Biafra. So I tell them that uh, it's not time yet. But the most important thing uh, we need from uh, Israel is to recognize our struggle and be able to disseminate the information to uh, uh, to the Israeli public that uh, there was a Mazi, your network is fluctuating. Mazi, Mazi Ben, am I the only one that is having that? I notice that his network is so. Let me not go can, uh, um, can uh, yeah. the uh, since uh, his network is uh, uh, fluctuating, can the uh, other uh, executive uh, take charge and uh, let us cut this story short so that. Uh, We'll be able to finish what we're here to do today. Okay. Mazi, Ike Chukun, can take a uh, over. No, that, That's, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Mazi Ike Chukun, who is Mazi Ike Chukun, please? Uh, can you raise your hand? Let me see. Who is this? Mazi. Mazi Ike Chukun, did we enter with your name? So I'll look for you. JP, JP. Okay, Ma, Mama, Mama, Anna, Mama Anna, Mama Anna, you can uh, make a uh, continue, and then um, uh, after that, then we go to uh, breaking our school or not. Okay, Mama Anna, there's no Mama name Anna. like that. It's okay, Anna, Anna. Anna. Okay, Anna. Anna, okay, I can see Anna now. All right, Anna, hold on. Uh, you are going to be able to unmute yourself now. Anna, please unmute yourself. We're going to spotlight you. Anna, you can unmute yourself now, please. Anna, please, you can unmute yourself. Keep your camera the way it was before, please. Okay. No? Yeah, it's okay like that. Mama, mama, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, ma. Okay. Yes. Put your camera like that and then shift back a little bit so that we can see your face very well. Then you begin to talk, ma. In a no no now. Yes, Go yes. Ahead. In a no no. Oh, but oh, yeah. Meji Bwago Odogu 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 Ote go na chokan kene yi Meji Bwago But Amaro mu phone yi yusu Amaro mi fenga operate yi ka Uwe join yi adi program But tata bu di opportunity yi Chinde ke ga go ziye o pato biye All the insult All the sabotoa Yet e kolo jem can we dendo? Can we win freedom? Chineke Gagozi or Bato Bier? The tap root. The tap root, Uji Biafra Nine. I'm an addistor in at all, but just to unite all of us together. Chineke Gagozi. Chineke Gagozi. Onya Bonassin on our tray. Onya Magada. Those people in their way, they are their enemy. Chineke Ganu so those people. GCK, my brother. Makana, Onya Masika, Mata Kriji then Kako, and Yam Yoga Jukwaka. Chineke Genye, who a conuche, Gajin, or Gua, Nusie, Anini Nege, Wangori, Tata, Angurijo, Gobi, my Jiguagua, Mara Metunga, Sikene. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, enough time. In Kenya, just go ahead to do your what you have to do so that later, Kikenebaya, go ahead, go, hold me. Ah, okay. 
Okay, any day na na Israel, maybe go go na say no. A dad yora na akwa one can campi, one can campi. But in the bany na say ah one can can kuruma, one can can kuruma. If for me ni bo, obele mane mi fe ife na ato wani nanya. O bele wane mi foge me si na si kunye mi fa. Yabo wan kan kan pro manasu so anye. Chine ke ga gozi ye. Anye ndi ndi Israel. Umu ne ndi nona Israel. Nye mwoji ageji weke ne. Se no. No. So oji anwa. Nge ji oji. We nye awarabai. Ko o nye di oji. Ko oji dat oji. We kene no. Muno wenge ji kwa fifty dollars. We wa oji anwa. No. No. De wo. Ma wa. Um. Um. De wo. Um. I received from the oji. From uh, Mama, then um, I got was it the Oji? Now, when it um, uh, Mazi Alex, Mazi Alex, Mazi Alex, um, Mazi Alex. Tell, us, yeah. tell them to raise their hands so I'll locate them, or you tell them to tell us their name so that I'll find them very quickly. Mazi Alex, if you could just raise your hand, it would be easy for us. Okay, I have one Alex here. Is this Alex? Unmute yourself for us to be sure if it is this Alex. Mash Alex, Lugu. Mash Alex, Lugu. I Alex, found one Lugu. Alex. I've enabled your mic. Can you unmute yourself and speak up so we we'll know yeah, it's are you? Alex, Lugu. Alex, Lugu. Mash Alex, Lugu. Um, uh, um, Rafael, please. I've just joined with my laptop so that okay, uh, I will be able to have some control. So I will go off from this, uh, uh, set me and then I'll go off from this phone because I'm using phone now. Thank you. Perfect, sir. Uh, Alex, are you here? Alex, Ubu. Alex, 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 Ubu. Can you unmute yourself? Please. Give Alex permission to open the microphone. There is one Alex we have there. You have the permission to open your microphone, but you need to identify it before I will give you co-host because I cannot just give co-host to any Alex. Master Alex, Master Alex, are you there? Okay, Peter, he raised up his hand now. Okay, okay unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Alex. Let's hear your voice. Okay. okay. Why are you muting yourself back now? Unmute yourself again, please. Okay. Oh, uh, go ahead. Let's hear you. Identify the can voice, you... uh, Rabbi. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. And oh, then, uh, okay. Can okay. You, can you? Uh, can you? Alex, uh, hold on, Alex. Alex, go ahead. Open your camera, please. Okay. Okay. Can you? Can you? You can hear me now. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Edimo, uh, I'm using the opportunity to greet our Prime Minister. You are welcome to the land of Israel, the Holy Land and uh, all the cabinets 